Good morning, Jeff Roper in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. Here's how we begin Tuesday with showers already getting some uh, looks like higher uh, elevation snow there into Mackey and into Sun Valley. Uh, and we'll see some more of that as the day continues here with that cold rain that is pushing along 84 and out of Boise and will invade our area. And it's a wintry mix into the southwestern corner. So we get the combo with the front and the winds. And yesterday was the nicest day of the week. So sorry, I, I was not here yesterday. I was enjoying the weather. 51 in Pocatello, and uh, we don't measure wind chills above 50, but just know we'll see 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. A bit of a gray beginning into Idaho Falls from our sky cam. Things look pretty dismal. We've got some rain in the distance, 51 degrees, and winds will be clocking above 20 miles an hour. A lake wind advisory for that stretch of 15 into American Falls, down around Aberdeen. Uh, it's 50 degrees there now, and things may be a little cooler, but that wind does help to warm things up. Believe it or don't, it's like a little hair dryer. Whoosh. 43 in uh, Driggs, and it is 33 degrees in Jackson, 52 in Salmon, with the possibility of a little bit of snow pushing across the area. Winds are going to be 10 to 20 miles an hour, but we've already seen gusts approach 40 in some spots this morning into the early morning hours. 34 mile an hour gust into Twin as you round turn four of the Idaho Dega Speedway. 19 mile an hour gust into Blackfoot. Here's the clouds settle uh, as we just could you know, consume them. It's covering the entire state. You go to Coeur d'Alene and they're in the clouds anyway, but you get, you get down here and uh, things are just covered up with it. Maybe a few breaks here or there, but it re it's really just going to be a dismal day. Here's the Viper cast as we get into the morning. We'll see showers commence into the central mountains with snows and by about lunchtime when you're back here for us, some rain around the central Snake River Valley and eastern highland showers, western Wyoming, and the accumulating snows of a couple of inches into Island Park and into Jackson. There's more of this to come. We get a bit of a break into Wednesday for most of us, and then we start to see the reprise of showers into the eastern highlands in western Wyoming early Wednesday. There's more with another front that will push through here and just take over on into Thursday afternoon, and even another shower chance for Friday as we kick into one of the last weekends of April. It's Earth Day, isn't it, Friday? That, yes. and, yeah, so um, you know, let's uh, let's clean up before we have to chase trash around. Uh, the winds are going to be out of the north and pretty brisk as well with that rain snow combo. 25, 30 mile an hour winds. The potential for gust right there into the valley areas on into about 11 a.m. this morning. We'll continue to see some pretty big winds uh, today, and that's why that American Falls area has the lake wind advisory. So. Outlying the snow for the mountain areas a couple of inches uh, may be possible. Island Park just a little bit more, but again, it's slushy and things are not quite as stable as they once were because it's spring, people. Where is this groundhog? 52. <laughs> it will be, yeah, it's Earth Day. Is he living in it? We need to charge him rent. It's going to be freezing tonight after we get good shower activity through here. We can use this moisture, and then we're going to cool off. This front that comes through Thursday has some power to it. So we're about a 10-degree jump there in our temperatures, but then back to the mid-50s and 60s on into the weekend. Rexburg, 51 today, a good chance of showers. We'll keep it in the 50s. You get a break tomorrow, but still overcast. So it looks like Tuesday and th late Thursday into Friday are our first alert weather days. We're still going to be right there in the 50s. You may see some snowflakes into salmon today. I'd love to see your weather pictures as well. Please send your, that Polaroid to me uh, via email, jeff.roper at localnews8.com. It'll be 46 in Jackson a day with rain and snow mixed and just kind of sloppy. And then we get toward uh, maybe a break tomorrow. Uh, Pocatello, I see some sun busting out over there, but it's still going to be overcast as we cloud up and warm up and storm up. And then we get that, that front slices through here on into Thursday. We'll drop from near 60 to around 47 degrees. Hard to believe we got to 69 degrees officially yesterday in Idaho Falls. Uh, it will only be 53 degrees today and good chances of some rain. You see that wind shaking that camera right there? That's not a giant squirrel or King Kong. That is the wind and, and things will be brisk and blowing cold rain is, oh, that is the worst. You know what would warm me up if I had Garth Brooks concert tickets? By the way, I'm giving those away on 99K UPI before you can buy them. They go on sale Friday morning at 10 o'clock. <laughs> I got more tickets Sweet. than anybody else in Utah, 
Idaho, Wyoming, Garth sent them. He says, here, give these away. I'm, you look as you raising your hand. <laughs> what is the worst occupation to date or marry? <laughs> if you need concert tickets, it ain't a DJ. 534-9957. 534-9957. Back to you.